Typecat is a framework for building AI voice agents. So with that, I'm going to show you how to build a voice agent connected to Twilio. So by the end of this, we'll have a phone number set up that anyone can call and have our voice agent answer it. I put together this GitHub repo. You can go ahead and git clone it and I'll have the, the link in the description. Before we start reading the readme directions, let's jump into the bot.py file. And if we jump down to round line 83. Uh, here's where we'll give our AI its instructions. So here I just say, hey, you're a helpful assistant named Tasha and some other stuff. All right, let's, let's scroll down to the readme directions. So you've get cloned the repo, then you're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this and run it into your terminal. I've already done it. Um, you're gonna need to have ngrok installed and then and just follow this link to to do that and then run this command here to copy this example file and create a copy of it with the new name .env and that's where you'll put in your own API keys and so the example file looks like looks like this and you're just going to in the env file replace these with your with your own keys that you can find following these links. And if we move along, so let's go ahead and start up our ngrok. So copy that, go to a new terminal and run that. Okay, so that's running. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna copy this URL here. So go ahead, whoops, oh, did that change? Um, yeah, go ahead and copy this and then you're going to need to go to your Twilio console. So sign up for Twilio, get your own account and you're going to, you're going to need to purchase a phone number. I've already done that. Go to the active numbers. This is our, the number I purchased. Click on it in the configure tab scroll down and where it says a call comes in right here you see this was my last one let's just make sure it's it's, a, it's this new one okay it's the same one and go up to or down and make sure you hit uh, save configuration okay so oh, it's loading all right so we have that saved now if we go back Let's follow the, the directions. Um, now you're going to run this command in the terminal to copy this example template and rename it to streams.xml. And you're going to want to uh, put in uh, this UR, the URL that you just put into Twilio. You're going to want to put that in the streams.xml file that you just made a new copy of. So right here is where you're going to, where you're going to want that or sorry, you're gonna want this part. So paste it in there. In the template, it'll look like this. So in, in the new one, you'll just do this and paste it, but then you're gonna to want to remove the HTTPS uh, slashes. And you're gonna to wanna to save that, but over here into the, um, the non-template one. So let's just make sure that's set up. Save that. And then now we should just be able to run python.server or pythonserver.py. So the ngrok is running. Then in this terminal where we have our virtual environment activated, we run this Python command. And it looks like it's starting up. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to this number that we configured and we're gonna call it. I'm gonna put it on speakerphone. Should answer with the Tasha agent. Hello, I'm Tasha, your helpful assistant. How can I assist you today? Hey, what's your name? Hi there, my name is Tasha. 
Cool. Thanks. See ya. Okay. So it worked. If we go to the logs, we'll see, yep, it correctly was hitting the ngrok URL and uh, Pipecat was able to run the agent. So that was a really simple, fast solution. This is, you could get uh, started um, prototyping this really quickly following uh, the, this GitHub repo. And this GitHub repo was based on Pipecat's um, Twilio example. So the only thing I really modified was using 11 labs. Yeah, so that's how, how quick and easy you can get going. And if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment or join the Discord that's linked in the description and ask questions there. Cool. See you.